Read Amos 5. It is a judgment upon us. All right. Amos 5 talks about how God hates our worship, how He will not hear our prayers, how He hates our instruments, that our offerings are a stench to His nose. Why does God tell Amos to say these things? The reason is because child's sacrifice was in the land and His people ignored it and did not make it illegal. They did not defend the innocent. If we read Jeremiah 1, just the first chapter, it talks about God's attitude towards His people who ignore child sacrifice in the land. God it calls us His enemy if we hold back justice from orphans. Children, Ask your parents why it's legal to do this to babies and why we do nothing to help stop it and make it illegal. It is the number one cause of death in Texas and we ignore it. We need to make it illegal. We need to repent of being pro-life. Did you get, did you get any of the literature? You got it? Okay, thank you. What's that? What ways can we go to make it illegal? Well, we expose it. We call our magistrates and other people, pastors, elders, um, to act on it, right? We, so we go to our representatives and we tell them that we need to make it illegal. We need to su stop supporting iniquitous decrees, the Bible says. Um, an iniquitous decree is a, a wicked law, right? Um, so like the partial birth abortion ban, that's an e a wicked law, right? Like you, you, can, you can't kill it once the body comes out, but if it's still in there, then you can kill it. Or if it can feel pain, you can't kill it. Well, right, well <laughs> that's an iniquitous decree, right? Right, well, so, we, I think we all agree here that life begins at the time of conception. Right. And that all abortion should be abolished. Right. But we don't act that way, right? Okay. Like, no, we support we all do. the incrementalism, right? Mm -hmm. And when a bill comes up to make abortion illegal, HB 948 here in Texas, he didn't throw any weight behind it. He didn't tell his congregants. There was no support for it. A lot of us knew about it. A lot of us went out to vote. Yeah, but see, it never got to a vote because it's an abolition bill mm -hmm. and the pro-lifers don't want abolition. Right. So they tabled it so we never got to vote. Right. But, but if as pastors long as, as raise... Long as we have a lot of people that are here that are becoming brainwashed Right. This is okay. Right. Well, but even the, God's the people is, don't do anything. Our church here isn't, as you say, isn't doing anything. Right. The problem is that more and more people out there are not doing anything. Right. But if just a so small when you're portion of protesting against those of us that do believe in the exact same thing that you're doing and that you believe in. Well, they don't because not, if they believe the same things I did, they would get involved in politics and they would work to make it illegal. Right. How do you know they're not involved in politics? Well, they are. Some of them are. But I know the abolitionists, the pro-lifers, raise money to get politicians who are pro-life, who regulate, don't abolish. Like Texas Right to Life is against making it illegal. All they want to do is regulate it. That's all they want to do, right? And that's who the pastors support, and that's where the money goes, right? So, Have you ever heard of Little Victories? No, huh? You've never heard the term Little Victories? Well, I've heard okay. the term. Well, but. A lot of things that go on with things like this is that sometimes pushing for a full abolishment of something is too, in their minds, radical to just outright get rid of it. But if we can be successful with getting small victories, then we can toward, go right. work towards getting abolished. But that's because wicked. If, is, if it was black people, if we were talking about black people, mm -hmm. we wouldn't say, okay, well, after you get, you know, after you're 60, then you, you're free. Oh, and then let's move it down to like 55 and then let's move it down. that's wicked that's called an iniquitous decree okay. what well, we do if god if we could pass one thing we could pass it all yeah, and, and you're right however it, it's yeah, not i gotta i gotta preach a little bit you, but you can contact me online i'd love to call and talk to you and, and explain it all to you but i need to pretty much just expose it right now so um but, i mean you're exposing however like i said this we are a church that believes in this is an atrocity. Right. That this is. But when a bill comes to make it illegal, nobody goes to the rallies 
right? Nobody you supports. Know that? No, I was there. Dude, and you yeah, saw, you yeah. The saw, pastors. You know every that, single one of our no, no. You know for a fact no, 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 no. I'm talking about in general. I'm not talking I'm about every single person. I'm talking about, about the generalities. Yeah, but who, you're making blanket statements. Who cares about the know. generality? If somebody, care but if, if you're saying that nobody in the church cares, then you're talking about me. All right. First and foremost. We, all right. Well, let's talk about you then, okay? Because you jumped up. So, what do you do to make it illegal? I do what I can. What? Okay. I've, I've if someone was emails, raping a woman over I've there, I've sent emails uh -huh. to people that are my congressmen. I sent emails to Ted Cruz. I've sent emails to do what? To get this taken care of. To pass bills? No, to get it abolished. But there's not. We can't just come out and state because there's such a strong blue movement in this area that we can't come out and state. We're a Republican state. We are a Republican state. <laughs> we can do it easy. We, we have a Republican president. We have the Congress. But, but we have the Senate. We, we have the House. We vote here in We Dallas. could do it. We could do it. We didn't vote red in, in Dallas. We voted blue. Well, well, we yeah. could. We, well, no, I'm not wrong. The on that. if the godly men of the community yeah. just did what was right, we're actually Christian, mm -hmm. active Christian. All right, and like let's 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 just ignore abortion a second. How about orphans in the land? Okay, yeah. right now there's 13,000 kids and in foster terrible. care yeah. right now, waiting to be adopted, but nobody wants them. You know who's adopting them? The gays and lesbians. Yeah. You know, because Christians don't want. But you say that. But they don't we want had these kids. Not too long ago, it doesn't matter. A thing here talking about. It doesn't helping, matter. Uh, the people adopt should people. adopt them all. There shouldn't be thirteen thousand. So just because they tried a little bit. And I, we're, we're making. Hopefully this next year we will be adopting to add more to our family. Yeah, that's good. And and we wouldn't know about the information had our not our church not provided right. it for us. Right. And and that's good. But we have seventy thousand pastors in Texas. I agree. Thirteen thousand kids waiting to be adopted. Mm -hmm. The fruit stinks, man. Like we should. In some places, yes. But I, I have a hard time believing that you're here to stop us, even though we already had the exact same information. We're, we're you working don't. for the exact same goals. Yeah, you think you, I, I, you can I, I, come up to these people here and you can say, "Do you support this in any way, or would you rather it be abolished?" What do you think they would say? Well, you know, a lot of people walking in here have stopped and talked to me and said, "You know what? You're right. Thank you for being here." Mm -hmm. Because they don't do what the Bible says. They don't work to make it illegal. Like there should be people in here that are actually working to make it illegal, right? All right. Yeah. They should be putting pressure on the senators and the representatives, Texas representatives. But they don't. I don't know. I went to the convention. All right. I see what's going on. I'm I'm involved Which in the legislature, the Dallas, the the Texas uh, Republican Party uh, convention. Both of them. All right. The number one plank of the Republican Party. Uh, I got to talk, man. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming. Well,